Hey everybody, welcome back to Craft and Coffee. I'm Joe Mama, your host. So I've decided to take some inspiration from my fellow content creator and Craft and Coffee server member, Country Arrow, link in the description. And I've decided to build a bamboo farm specifically for making torches here in the mine. Now I've made a little thing back behind me there, just manually growing some bamboo, but I quickly realized that it's not going to make bamboo fast enough to create the sticks I'm going to need to create the torches. But, uh, but you know what? We can go bigger. And I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go bigger than this. I, now, I gotta say, I think this is freaking awesome. I call it old guy brain or whatever you want to call it, but I didn't know to, up to this point that you could actually make sticks out of bamboo. Now, I mean, in real life, sure. Yeah, absolutely. But in Minecraft, I didn't know that was a thing until I saw his video. And then I'm like, oh, dude, that is too cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a... We're going to build a bamboo farm on the surface. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to build it without minecarts. We're going to build it using a flying machine and passive uh, water flow is going to move the bamboo down to a lower level where we can retrieve it and use it for the mine or anything else we want to, frankly. But I think that's going to be the plan. And I think it's going to start with digging a very big hole on the surface. Uh, fairly deep, so that we've got room for the uh, bamboo to grow, but um, there'll be enough earth on the sides of the bamboo that uh, when the flying machine harvests it, it doesn't go flying everywhere, that most of it ends up where we need to go. Also, it's going you're going to see that I'm going to make this in such a way where there's little strips of land, I would say, taking up 30%, you know, like well, like one third rather, of the, uh, of the area. Two thirds of the area will be just holes for the bamboo to pass through and fall to the water below. So it's, it's gonna look kind of funky, I think, but, but I think it's gonna work, we'll try it. So let's go ahead and start digging that hole, shall we? Okay, the hole is dug. So we're actually gonna go ahead and relocate because as it turns out, Digging this hole in this particular location gave us a very convenient place to enter the hole, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I totally didn't mean to do this. Oh, by the way, in the interim, I got the uh, I got the realistic skies working, thanks to Wintertooth. Hooked me up with an updated file, and uh, so now I now I want to do that. I just love the way it looks. Glad to get rid of those Minecraft clouds. So it turned out as I was digging the hole. I found that I was right next to the stairwell, so that goes down to the mine, and that is perfect. So let's kind of look at what I've done with this hole. So the water will flow down this way, and then I've already put a bit of water here, and it goes right down there. You can see the stairwell down there, and you can also see the very bottom. That's level 11, and you can see my shulker boxes down there. I happened to build it right next to the existing test bamboo farm down there, so perfect. So I think we're going to be okay, but first what I'd like to do is go ahead and get some of the uh, dirt laid aside. But actually, you know what I'd like to do? Let's actually go ahead... Oh, that was smart. Let's carve some space out. This is going to be where the flying machine parks, and we'll do the same thing at the other side. Okay, this completes this side, but I think in order to make this work, in order to, uh... Well, let's see, in order to set this up just right, I may actually have to up the space just one more level, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set up the place where we're going to plant. Okay. So I think that right there concludes the construction of our planting area. So that's where the bamboo will be planted. And then what we'll do next is we're going to put water down in the, uh, in the catch area here. And we're going to have water pushing all the crops toward that hole, ideally. So let's go ahead and get started on that. I 
think we got some block lag going on here. Okay, we'll have to get some wooden signs here to block the water flow because what we want is the water to end right about here, but we want the crops to continue flowing and in order to get that we're going to have to put some signs here. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Boom. No. Boom. Done. Boom. Done. Uh, and I've, I've got like three different colors of signs, but you're not really going to be able to see this anyway, so frankly, I don't care. Looks kind of cool, actually, with the uh, gradient in color. Okay, so that that should do it for the signs. So let's go ahead and put the water in place. And am I going to be able to get out of here? Yes, I am. And that ought to do it. Okay, so now we've got a mechanism in place that should get all the crops caught. Now, one thing I am going to do, kind of put this floor here. No, 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 nope, nope. I won't put a floor there. No, because that will that could impede the... Uh, I thought maybe I'd cover up that stuff, you know, but I think maybe that would impede the uh, catching of crops, so we're not going to do that. So we've got that in place, so let's go ahead and plant the crops, and then next the only thing will be required is uh, building the flying machines. Okay, 45, I missed one. That block right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, obviously I want to maximize... And this stuff grows quick, but obviously I want to maximize my growing area, so I don't want to miss anything. So it looks like we're going to have a total of 70 plants, and I think that should be good. That should be plenty. Oops. Especially if they can grow like, what, 15, 15 high? And we'll let them grow to their full length if possible. Okay, that concludes planting of the bamboo. Next will be construction of the flying machines. And let me get the stuff together. We'll go ahead and start on that. Well, I almost forgot. Before we go any farther, as far as building a flying machine goes, we need to actually set up the chest where we're going to collect the crops because it doesn't do us much good to build a flying machine, have it harvest, and then have the crops just drop. So let's, let's set this up real quick. So, if you look, you'll see that uh, I'm in the staircase leading down to my mine, which the staircase will go away. I'd like to do a bubble vader at some point, but what I'd like to do is set the chest up so you can access it from here. So let's go ahead and I'm thinking we'll put the chest, well, where could we put it? So here's the deal. Um, we've got this kind of double, double-sided double hole here. So I think if we put the hoppers there, there, and then the chest would therefore be here, I guess. I guess that would work. Why don't we do that? So, let's figure out how we're going to do this, though. I'm going to have to do some surgery here. So, let's go ahead and grab, grab the chest. I'm going to pop a double chest in place, of course. Okay. And then... I think we can get away with putting the hopper right on top of it, can't we? Won't it, won't it still open? Yeah, still, it'll still open. And then this one will go right there. So then we can always just come down here. Do I have any more chests on me? No, I don't. So I was thinking maybe I could set up something that's a little bit easier to reach. But I could just come here, grab some bamboo, and uh, make some sticks out of it in hand. So that's easy enough. So let's go ahead and work on the flying machine. Okay, so in order to set this up properly, I'm going to have a flying machine that is exactly as wide as the hole, and the hole is 10 blocks wide. Now, what I need to do, now that I've found the center, 
of the hole, the center line, which is these two torches, blocks five and six, if you were. So I need to set up a an identical looking machine at either end, a very simple machine, but an identical looking machine at either end to receive the flying machine, a parking spot, if you will. So let's see, if I've got this right, then I'm gonna use obsidian here just because. I don't know if you absolutely have to use obsidian, but there's just something about the idea that a flying machine can't move it, but obsidian I know won't move, so why take a chance, right? So let's go ahead, I'll put this here, and let me get another building block also, helper block, and this, and then I'll put a permanent block here, and then I actually need to set up an observer as well. So let's set up that. And do I have an observer on me? No, I don't, which is why I brought the redstone box. Yeah, buddy. So I'm going to need all these observers, and I'm going to need these pistons here, and I'm going to need these redstone repeaters. And what else am I going to need? I'm actually going to need a switch, but I don't think I need anything special out of the box to do that. Okay, so observer. I think I can. I think I can stand back here and set it up. Am I right? I always forget this. The observer, you have to like be facing away. Okay. So we got that done. So let's remove the helper blocks and a repeater. Okay, I need the repeater, and I think I need to stand here, am I right? Let's find out. Yeah, okay, that's right. And then go one, two, three, four. Set the tick to maximum, and let's go ahead and build a switch. You know what, let's go ahead and build two switches because I'm gonna need them. Boom, boom. Okay, and Ah, oh, crud, I'm out of inventory space, of course, but I don't need a lot of this stuff that's already here. Okay, so now I have to build an identical machine to this at the other end. So I've put this passageway here to access both sides. Is this going to be enough space? Eh, I hope so. We'll find out. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, torches. Boom, boom. Okay. And so this goes here. Then that goes there. This goes there. Boom, boom. Is that going to be enough space for the flying machine to park? Yeah, kind of. Should work. Should be fine. And observer block. Remove that, remove that, take my repeater, put it there, tick, 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 and let's throw the switch in place. I haven't done either of the switches yet. Boom. Boom. Okay, now to build the flying machine, and this is a little bit tricky. Observer. See, why is that not working? I could have sworn this thing was supposed to light up. I might have something wrong, but I, I don't know what it is at the moment. Whatever. So now let's... Oh, slime blocks. I need slime blocks. And I think I have those over here in the redstone box. Okay. And... One, two, three... Three four and then there there shall be a piece of glass right here to rub against the wall okay a piston I need a sticky piston no dirt sticky piston goes here right I think that's correct yellow You know what? Let me take let me take Mr. Sticky Piston off of there for a second. Oy vey. Okay, we'll take Mr. Sticky Piston off there for just a second. 
because that might be the, I always get this wrong, that might be the catalyst to actually getting this thing running, is you get all, everything in place, and then you throw the sticky pistons in there. Maybe. I don't know. So let's go ahead. Let's get this puppy to, let's see, one, two, three, four. And let's get the glass. This is how you die, okay? Let me just say this right now. This is how you die. I just have this feeling that I'm about to do something that I wish I hadn't. Um, let's get the silk touch pick. Okay, so we're going to do... This piston is facing the wrong way, but I need an observer block. Oh, I need an observer block. Okay. Right here, correct? Okay, so the observer block goes that way. Am I right? Yes, I am. And then there needs to be a sticky piston right here facing inward, which I think I can do. Okay, that sticky piston's in place. Okay, so now I think I can actually get out of here. Okay, um, oh, this is just ducky. Okay, so now this piston goes... Yes, there it goes. We have a winner. So is it going to come back or no? Okay, it's going to come back. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Is that off? Uh, no, turn it like that. That should be fine. That's off. So the question is, was it going to stop and how much bamboo did I actually manage? Wow. Huh. I don't think it's supposed to go back and forth. It's supposed to stop at some point. Did I get anything? Okay. Okay, I got some. I got some. That's good. How much is in the hoppers? A lot? Oh, quite a bit. Actually, that's really good. Okay, well, I don't want to bog down the server, so it behooves me to figure out what this problem is. So let me do that, and then I shall return. Okay, I seem to have stopped it, and all I did is just replace the repeater with this torch. So just all it needs to do is update that block so the observer can activate. And then once it does that, I'll, I'll leave the repeater at the other end so that uh, the machine comes back. But once it does that, it goes on its way. And no matter what position the switch is in, I think it's just going to stay. When it comes back, it's just going to stay. But you know what? That is just fine. I don't need it to keep going back and forth. I don't know why it's functioning differently on my single player world, but this is a typical thing in Minecraft. Just because it works in single player doesn't mean it's going to work in multiplayer and vice versa. But I'm also going to do something else. I've noticed, just to increase the efficiency of the setup, I think what I'm going to do is, on the back wall, I'm actually going to have another channel of water because it appears that this bamboo tends to get knocked by the flying machine into the back wall and stays there. And I've collected quite a bit of it that way. And it, um, it's just going to go to waste. And there's nothing precluding us from doing that, except the fact that, uh, except the fact that I can't run water down here, but I could probably run some water here, and uh, maybe have it drop here. I don't know because the the flying machine is so close as far as the vertical level goes, it might not be possible. Uh, we'll see. We shall see. But anyway, I think. I think that takes care of our little farm. Let me go take a look and see in the testing we've done how much bamboo we've actually managed to collect. I'm rather curious. Oh yeah, yeah, we've collected quite a bit. Very happy with that. Each stack of bamboo equals two stacks of torches. So that's 
very good. Of course, we'll need the coal to go with it, but I think we've got uh, I think we've got a good system here. Okay, rather than putting in the timer to make this AFK, I've decided that's not really necessary because it's going to produce so much, and we'll just when we go mining, we'll just remember to come here, turn it on. I want to go check something, by the way. I want to see if this bounces stuff on the back wall. Yep, there it goes. Boom, boom, boom. Bounces all that stuff, and it goes right down into the gutter to be picked up. And then let's see if it does the same thing here. It might be a long shot, but I put this gutter here so that if something did fly this way, that we would catch it. So that's all right. So let's see what we managed to catch down in the hopper, or in the chest, rather. Let's see. What did we get? Hopefully it's a good amount. Okay, that's coming in. There's a lot there. And there's seems to be quite a lot there. So I think this is going to work out just fine. I think that's a good arrangement. Okay, so that concludes our construction of the uh, of the bamboo farm. I think for now, anyway. What we'll do later is cover this up with something decorative, but I really want to get an idea exactly how high that bamboo is going to grow before I try to enclose it in some kind of glass greenhouse structure or something. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I hope you found this interesting. Again, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe button if you like the stuff you're seeing. I'd really appreciate it. It won't cost you a thing. I'm not going to spam you or anything. It's all for the good of all of us. I'll provide good content. Just give me the chance to show you. All right. Well, you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.